So, um, Jay Bean and I had been chatting on my Facebook art page and decided I'd give some colors, um, combined colors, try to show four different outcomes. Um, so, I have four little 8x10 canvases. They are Arteza's new premium wrapped canvases. They have uh, wider frames and they have the little corner notch pieces. You slide right into the corners. I didn't do that. I didn't slide them in, but you know, they're really nice. These are eight by 10. Um, so I think first what I'm gonna do is somewhat of a Dutch pour. And the colors I'm using are dioxazine purple and deco art copper, deco art bronze, and obviously white. So we'll see how it does. I'm not sure if my white is thin enough actually, but we'll give it a try because I've already started. And I'm not gonna scrape off a bunch of white. So instead of using a hair dryer, I'm just gonna use um, some uh, straw tubing that I have. Um, many people have asked me where I've gotten this and it is paint covered. Um, I use this, except the mouthpiece. The mouthpiece is not, <laughs> the area where I put my mouth is not covered with paint. Um, but the kids had a, a crazy straw making kit for their birthday years ago and they never used that portion. So I've been using it here and there um, to blow out my edges. So what I'm gonna do is start with the dioxazine purple. I'm gonna do the bronze. I'm gonna do a little bit of white in this one. I'm gonna do the copper. And they, uh, honestly, the copper and the bronze are so close in color when, of the deco arts that I don't really see much of a difference. But maybe once blown out, um, I will. covered up all that much but I'm gonna actually just stretch this out, do my little take of it. How about that mess? Anyways, if I had my hair dryer, it would probably work better. But I did not utilize that. So that's just a blown hot mess. So I don't think I like it, but that's just me. I'm 
Look at that, we'll just play with it a little bit. Sort of fun, sort of mess. All right, we're just gonna leave that be because it is what it is. So, let me show you guys. We'll bring you in for close-ups after. What I'm gonna do is just switch these out. Put that over there, get it out of the way. All right. Now with those colors finished and done, we'll get rid of that. <clears throat> now here, I'm just gonna use up my thin white. I have my four ounce cup. Do about an ounce of the purple. Yep. The bronze. The copper. Purple. And I have some white over here that I mixed this morning. Just getting this to help move the paint. <clears throat> the paint. So it's definitely not. What I would do definitely I definitely put too much copper in there and I need a paper towel I need my tweezers too I don't know what I had in there, but, all right. I 
I got something in it. But, um, it's got some pretty lacing in it. try something else. I'm almost feeling there's not enough purple on that. I'm thinking we can do better. So, I really think that the bronze in combination with the copper is probably not a good idea. But we're going to give this a swirl here. See, this is much better. I like the lacing over here, so maybe I'll stretch this over this way. I'll go up here. Yes, I like that. That has some nice movement in it, and I just banged it. There we go. Okay. So that's really pretty. Um, so this is the mix of the copper and the bronze. This is just bronze with the purple and white. So Jay, I would definitely say only use either copper or bronze. That would be my thoughts on that. as they are very close in color. And yeah, okay. So, all right, this one is done. That one over to here. All right. 
<clears throat> I just want to get this edge over here. I saw that it had some white visible. So next, I think, we'll do, um, a, hmm, all right, I'm going to coat it with white, and then I'm going to do an open cup across it. And I'm going to put a little bit of water in my white because I want to thin it out. And I'm just going to use tap water. I'm not really concerned of it right now. start here or no I'll start right in the middle Need a little more white It's already moving, so that's good news. I'm just going to lift it a little and swirl it around.
love this one. <clears throat> okay. No silicone in these at all, so. One more to go. What should we do? I'm wondering if who's that? I'm gonna grab something I haven't used in a while. Hopefully I can find it. <laughs> do is this in the middle. Just swirl that around a little bit. I didn't really care. Um, and I'm going to do some 24k gold because I told him I would do another with that in it. I need more purple. Grab that real quick. Nope, not gonna use that. Need a new cup. Just drop some gunk in it. That should be enough. I pre-mix a lot of my paints and um, I keep them in 32 ounce bottles. It's pretty good when you're doing a um, two part flow trial, one part paint ratio. Except for my deco art metallics, that's when I do one to one ratios. We'll do a little high flow gold in this one. Ooh. I have no idea how this is gonna come out because it's been a while since I've done this. Let me see here. Need a little more purple. Do some high flow gold on top of that and see what we get. We do one more round of the purple.
All right. Looks like a nice mess to me. Don't know what's going to happen. That didn't work out as planned, but Maybe. Yeah, maybe not. I actually just thought that maybe I could uh, incorporate one of Heather Matter's balloon rolls in here, but I'm awful at it, so it doesn't really matter. I guess it really doesn't matter because I'm just having fun tonight. Sometimes I take things too seriously, so. I'll see if I can blow up a glove and bring you guys back in in just a second. Um, so I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so with this one, oh, I hated how it came out and there was nothing I could really do to fix it. So I just scraped the canvas. I don't usually scrape canvases, but this was just a hot mess waiting to crash and burn. So I am going to try another ring core because we've already seen that. So why not? Right. And I'm just going to reuse the cup that I already used. And no, I'm not. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna reuse the cup, but I'm cleaning it out a little bit here. Ugh. Put it with my pile of paint here. Then I'm gonna scoop up after. Okay. So we're gonna do some white. That was a bit of white. I'm really botching a whole lot of stuff tonight. Okay. That's good. And then I'm going to do some of the gold. The dioxazine purple. <laughs> we'll do some copper. teeny bit of white and what I'm going to do is a traveling ring pour and we'll do some purple again and copper again Put the high flow right here. And maybe up here. So 
So I just covered the purple and the white with it. Maybe a touch of copper. That's what we'll do. And then I'm just going to do a quick little ring pour here and see what comes about of it. Maybe some white? Maybe. I'll just leave it in the middle. My paints were not the same thickness, which is becoming a problem. So I've come to the conclusion that um, I'm just, I'm so used to pouring large. And it is so hard to reverse your thinking to pour small. Um, I'm just not uh, doing too good here. And I really wanted to help this help Jay out. Hopefully he's learned some valuable lessons. <laughs> I can't even, this is just too much. Um, so I'll bring you guys in. The, they're not that bad. I'm not done with the one that I was just pouring. I just had so much paint on my hand that I didn't want to drip all over it. I just wanted to rinse off the gloves. So, all right, I'm back. Let's see here. Do that. What I'm going to do is put some white here because I think it needs some white. Maybe blow that out a little because now it just looks like a straight up line. Uh, that's going to sell up, and this one is done. Okay, so we're going to do this so that I don't lose the paint on the floor. There we go. And then I'll scoop it after. But I do like how this one came out. There's little cells everywhere. I'm just gonna put that there. What a hot mess these are. These are just crazy. I think I would much rather do it on a larger canvas because that is what I'm used to pouring on. I like to have the space to move. Um, but let's uh, let's bring you guys in and show you what we got. gold all over my phone. Ha. Here is this piece. And then there's that piece, which I think is really quite cool. I love the lacing. So I think if you're going to do anything, Jay, I would definitely go with an open cup pour. 
um, like I did with this one. Maybe drag the fingers through it a little bit, give it some di different designs. And here is, oh, part of my light. It only likes to work sometimes. I don't know what's going on with it. I'll have to get new light bulbs. Um, we'll come back to that. All right, and then we have the ring pour. So sorry if I'm making you guys dizzy. I'm trying to get the light, um, which is really, really pretty. Well, this was grueling tonight, huh? Um, I guess I only had really one good pour out of the day. I really love that one. I wish we could see the colors. Oh, look at that. It decided to come back. Um, <laughs> so this is, I gotta get this. It looks so dark and it's not. There we go. So pretty with the little cells in there. I love all the cells popping up in here. So I only used the dioxazine purple, the copper, and the gold in this one, and I really love the cells. They're they're fun. The swirls. I don't know. I guess they're growing on me. So anywho guys. Thanks for watching. This is for Jay. Take a crack at it tomorrow with your friend. Bye.